Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Sofin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough, where we only deploy female soldiers and for this mission to max. But uh, today we're gonna go on Operation Shadow Fist, where we need to neutralize a target in an advent vehicle. This is a cancel mission, so even though the game says we're only gonna face seven enemies, that's gonna probably be a lot more. But the rewards are going to be very, very nice. About 300 supplies and 109 intel. So uh, without further ado, let's head into this mission. And there we go, dropping into another cityscape, Novgorod. Where we need to uh, find yeah, a VIP and bring him in alive. Target location confirmed. Move to engage. Eliminate all hostile contacts. So he's cowering behind that car and the extraction zone is right behind it. So even though we're gonna get reinforcements, I don't think that's gonna amount to more than uh, around 10 enemies. There we go. Double shield wall. And we're bringing the heavy explosives. So 12 turns to extraction, which seems to be fine. I'm just checking what I can do here. So since the VIP is just on this side of the map, seems like also this side of the building, I feel like it's a good thing to start moving towards the back of the arena here. Um, so I'm gonna move forward and I'll see you guys in a second. And there we go, Andromedon, what was that? Andromedon mech and a purifier it seems. So we're still quite a ways away, so I'll see you guys in a second again. Oh crap, we were immediately spotted by the Andromedon. Okay, fair enough. We'll be able to deal with that, I think. So it's a mech, purifier and Andromedon, just as we thought. They're pretty close to a few things here, but other than that, yeah, this seems to be doable. The biggest problem is that there's quite a few people still far away. So I'm just going to try and pull a few people closer. So Kelly moving up. Um, and other than that, it seems like she can hack something. We could technically hack the Mac. I'm gonna see what else we can do. Um, I could use the Shredstorm cannon already. Although I don't think that's gonna... No, that's not gonna be wide enough. Uh, Eevee is not in a good position to... Yeah, get both of them here. And I wanna... Yeah, well, I'll save that for later. I can already also see the Lancer Purifier and Mac near the VIP, which only leaves one more enemy after this. I could use the Shredstorm Cannon to just take out the Andromedon over there. Um, but what are my chances to hit? 58 and 23. Might as well use it then. You can also move up Sparky. I'll comply. Sparky has the Blaster Bomb. Oh wait, crap, I forgot about the Max Overwatch. So that's gonna hurt indeed. So that's two armor shredded already because the uh, cannon of the mech has shredding. But I'm gonna return the favor, which is what I wanted to do, um, by... If I just put it one tick... No. Like this. Um, I'm gonna take out the cover of Heidi there as well, but... Like this, I can take out the cover of both the Purifier and the Andromedon. So let's just do that. Last the bomb incoming from Sparky. And uh, Blamo. So there we go. Rainmaker increases the damage and... Whew, this is uh, nice and wide open, isn't it? Like a, like a fresh breeze going through the area. <laughs> But, 76 on the Archon, that's not actually that good. But, if I put her on Run and Gun... I'm gonna have to be careful, because... Yeah, that's the car. I don't think I'm gonna be close enough, but let's try this over here. Good copy. Moving on target. She doesn't spot the ones in the back, which is good. And now I wanna... Yeah, let's fire at the Andromedon. If we get the 93% crit chance, he's gonna be dead. He's gonna be really dead. Like that. Well, not of course dead dead because, you know, that happens. But we do get implacable. Um, Hilda is still here in the back. I'm you here. Let's move her to the sides and see what she can do from here. 
Seems like she can still do Haywire Protocol. I could Haywire Protocol the Andromedon Shell. Um, and it's the only one I can actually hack. Interesting. Let's see what the chances are. So 95% to temporarily stun it or 48% to take control. I'm going to try and take control. And we just don't get it. Okay. Aim and defense is increased on the Andromedon. But I'm pretty sure I can't take it out in this turn. Making new friends. No, you don't. Me out. There we go. <laughs> I think so. Um, now, Eevee can actually go into... Wait, can she see somebody? She can just see the Andromedon shell. Um, 63 is a start at least. Yeah, let's fire with the 63% shot. There we go, that's 9 damage. Extra move available. What else do we have? That's the only thing we can do. <laughs> okay, got it. Um, I could combat protocol the mech, which is going to kill it. But then again, I think I should focus on the Andromedon. Do I have untouchable with... Uh, do we have untouchable at the moment? Can we see that? I mean, I don't want to risk it, so I'm just going to use Kelly's bond action on Heidi. The enemy should fear us. So Heidi can take care of the... Um, I think I'm going to take care of the Andromedon, although the mech... The mech probably has a bigger chance... Oh no, 76, I'm not going to risk that. So yeah, Andromedon shell, here we go. 98%. Not a critical, by the way, but 10 damage, which is enough to kill it. And we don't get a hair trigger action. Okay. And we get the hunter. Okay. That's going to make things more interesting. Yeah, indeed. Now, we still have Erika on top of the roof. Um, ooh. Wait a second. Did he get more strength? So, revenge. Chance to return fire against missed shots. Ooh. That is freaking dangerous. Okay. It's dangerous out here. It is. That is going to be annoying. So if he misses shot against him. Commander, one of the chosen is here. We'll have to deal with it before it throws off the rest of our operation. So is he going to fire a missile from Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. So double shredding. Look like it hurt. They might seem and there we go. Blade storm. Blade storm on the purifier, which is fine. I'm watching you. Okay. So aside from the teasing, we still have our sniper up here. Um, but I'm afraid that if I go over here, I'm gonna trigger that last batch of enemies. That's well, second batch of enemies. Does that mean that the chosen the hunter actually counts towards the amount of enemies? Let's move Eevee over here. Should I double check that for you? Oh wow. The jets are really cool. And that uh, gets us, yeah, a shot at the mech. If we kill this thing, we're going to actually get a trophy. So there we go. And we miss again. You'd almost think I was human. Uh, ooh, and we get a free action from the hair trigger that I've installed on Eevee. So let's try this again. There we go. Axles to axles, bolts to bolts. Kill uh, a robotic enemy with a mech. So, ten, tur ten turns left. Um, and I think I'm going to use that to move closer. Because there's a few people that are not in good positions. So, I'm just going to move Hilda up. Let's just... Because if I go close... Yeah, I, I can actually even see them already. Um, I'm going to reload Heidi. And, and put it on Overwatch. That's a big weapon. You sure you know how to handle it? And then I'm going to move... Erica to this corner, I hope, but that shouldn't trigger the enemies yet. Oh god, no. Okay, so pistol overwatch. I'm gonna keep it at that. I am gonna keep it at that. If they want to come over here, they can. But of course, all the overwatches might be bad for the hunter. Because I don't know if he can actually fire back at... Okay, so he grappled up, moved back. Then is he going to try a mark shot? No. 
Then I think I'm gonna keep my Shredstorm Cannon for the Hunter. Um, and I'm gonna move Erica over here so she has a nice Overwatch shot uh, next turn. And that's gonna spot the three dudes down there. At least I can make a plan after this. So there we go. Spotting the VIP and the three remaining enemies. And they move to the sides. The mech goes into Overwatch. But I'm pretty sure I can deal with that. Because Heidi doesn't actually trigger Overwatch. So if I can put Heidi... Hmm... I can put Heidi over there, and that gives us a flanking shot on the Lancer, but for some reason still pretty bad. Um, I could Sword Strike the mech if I wanted to. So if I can put a little bit of damage on the mech, I should be able to... You know what, I'm going to do it the other way around. So first going to do a Sword Strike, although no, 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 no. I'm not going to get... I'm not going to get untouchable that way. So combat protocol ignores armor. So let's do that on the Mac. So from behind Sparky. All the way over there. And zap. That's six damage and another four on top. And the overwatch is removed. Which means that if I now go in with the sword. Oh, wait a second. Sword, sword, sword. There we go. I could even activate Reaper, and I'm gonna do so. So Reaper, and then melee attack the mech. That gives us loot, and a kill. So that gives us Untouchable as well. Untouchable, Implacable, and an extra move, a superior laser sight, which is gonna be very, very nice, or a shotgun or something like that. And then the second sword strike, we're gonna go on the... Uh, I'm not gonna crit. So let's just go on the Lancer over here. I'm not gonna kill either of them. I could have done rapid fire as well, but I feel like our mechs can actually use uh, another promotion. So let's just move up. So moving up with Eevee and reloading her, she can't really do anything. But if we put Sparky over here... Sparky is uh, at half health at the moment, so one shot from the Hunter is gonna kill him. Her. Um, I could hack something, apparently. Probably that tower. But 76% chance to hit the uh, Lancer. There we go, we even get a critical, so 13 damage. And Sparky gets an ability point. Uh, and Kelly can't really do anything, so I'm gonna put Kelly. Kelly on Overwatch? Kelly on Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. What should we try this time? So that's gonna trigger. Yeah, the purifier is gonna get shot. There we go, seven damage. And he's probably gonna try and hit uh, Heidi. And that's not gonna help, because Heidi has Untouchable. Oh, he's actually throwing a grenade. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, did he miss a grenade? Ooh, and the hunter goes for the smart option. And goes uh, for Erica there. Be advised, hostile interceptors are inbound on your current position. Firebrand has a limited window to provide extraction. I relish these okay. quiet moments before the strike. Hmm. So he's taken out my only sniper, which is uh, very, very smart of him, of course. Uh, so we're going to have to move down. Um, and I'm going to move down pretty close to... Yeah, let's put Erika over here. So we can actually have a little uh, look-see at where the hunter is hiding exactly. Do we actually see him now? No, still nothing. Okay, then we're gonna have to deal with him next turn. Let's take care of the uh, purifier first. So move up with Eevee. Eevee is immune to fire, so we actually don't give a flying fuck. And let's just fire at the elite purifier. He might blow up, but he doesn't. Goodbye. 
and we get a, a free action, which means that we can move up. Can I actually punch the VIP with, with a robot? I mean, he can't really... No, he can't. Okay. Let's move Sparky up as well. I don't know if there actually is a way to heal the robot. Which would be nice. Um, I could try... I know he's behind a car here somewhere. I could try and move up, but I don't have running gun at the moment. So I think I'm going to try and just keep behind the car here. So I can dash up in the All next the turn. Although I still have the grappling hook, by the way. Where can I grapple to? Can I grapple to over here? No, that's that's a bit too far. But I might be able to use that in the next turn. So let's just go on Overwatch. On Overwatch. Um, oh, and Hilda is just far, far away. So uh, let's just move Hilda up as well. So let's keep an eye on where he's going. Seems like we won't be able to see where he's going. That is interesting. So for once the game doesn't show me the actions that the Chosen has actually taken. Which means that I'm going to have to uh, run at it. And yeah, in style. So let's check out this side of the truck with Heidi. Ah, there he is. My brother and sister have fallen. It seems you are the being the elders believe you to be. Good. Let's get this over with. We've got the Chosen right where we want him. It's time to strike. I don't know whether he's uh, he has Overwatch or not. I have an 84% chance shot with Erica here. But I think I can do you one better. So if I move up with... I don't even need to move up, I think. If I just use Eevee's Shredstorm Cannon from over here... Yeah, I can take out... I don't think I hit anybody with this, right? No. I can take out the car. He's uh, behind him as well. And take out all his cover and his uh, armor. So, Shredstorm Cannon it is. This doesn't miss, so he won't be able to respond. There we go. Nine damage and three shredding. He doesn't get hit by the explosion of the car, though. Okay, now we need to be certain that every single shot we fire at him actually hits. Ooh, wow. 51%. While we're this close... What does the grapple do from over here? I can probably, yeah, move to over here. Uh, let's do that as straight as possible. So that doesn't take an action. And I think just to be safe, I could try and... So that's 95 now because of the height advantage and the flanking. What happens if I rapid fire this? 80% twice. Whew, that's a risk, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. Here we go. Rapid fire. Double 80%. Oh, no. Oh, no. Does he fire back immediately? Didn't do my kid any good. What makes you think it'll be different for you? Okay. That wasn't too bad. But now... If I want to do dual strike, sure thing. I'm going to have to do it from over here, which isn't ideal. Can I actually do dual strike? Probably not, no, because Kelly can't see him. I think it's high time we put our max into overdrive. So let's overdrive so we can actually dash and fire. So, like, I'm going to have to be careful because I think Sparky can now destroy cover. And, ooh. I'm going to see what's the second action now. Uh, let's just move over here. Please don't blow stomp, up the car. Stomp, stomp. She didn't destroy that. So now, yeah, okay, now we can see what is what exactly. So let's move Sparky over here. I'm as graceful as a gazelle. Yes, you are. Yes, you are indeed. That is 69. 69 isn't good, is it? 69 is definitely not good, but it's better than what we have. Oh, there we That's a dodge. That's not a mess, right? So, combat protocol, that's going to be another 6 damage. We're going to be in trouble here. Because, yeah, the sniper rifle shot is for some reason 64. 
which I feel isn't correct. I mean, he's wide out in the open. I'm going to use Kelly's bond action to give another one to Heidi. Heidi can fire again with the, uh, the shotgun. Then we're going to get another crit chance. The crit chance should be through the roof, by the way. It's 90% and we didn't hit that last time. But I'm actually going to do frostbite. 75% to hit. Um, yeah, let's try that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. Frozen. Frozen. And we get... Ooh, that doesn't count as an action. That is ridiculously overpowered. But there we go. 85% chance. And we get a crit. 15 damage. Yeah, he's going to go down, I think. Now I'm getting a little angry. You are? Let's just move Hilda closer as well. And then the last one is the sniper rifle shot. We have 99% now because he's frozen. That is actually really good. 99% um, and a 40% crit chance. So might be a kill if we crit. And we did. But that might be one... Seems almost like oh, yeah. Crap, okay. Two health left. And we get Mac Lord. But I think I can kill him with one blade storm. That's a uh, daze grenade? That's not going to do something on a mech. <laughs> he doesn't realize that's a mech. Okay. No, not really. Not really, buddy. Because we have a mech right in the middle there. One of our uh, spark units is right in the middle. Sparky is. So she can fire immediately at both of those mechs. I even have a better shot at the Hunter than at the uh, the two Max, So might as well do it. 89%, that should hit. Oh no! Why? Oh, and he fires back. He... Foo hoo hoo hoo. Okay, this is, this is starting to become interesting. Uh, 100% on the hunter, so definitely gonna kill him now, because I don't want that thing uh, anywhere near me. I don't know what's going on with the hit chances. He was 50% in the last turn at the exact same position. But Erica goes, uh, takes him out. We missed an 89% shot. I'm sure we'll see them again, but that Chosen sure wasn't expecting the fight we put up today, Commander. Okay, um, I think, I don't know whose hack stat is higher, actually. Might be Hilda's. I'm gonna try and take one of, one of the mechs for our own. 118 on Hilda, and 145 on Kelly. So Kelly is gonna try and take control, there we go. And there we go, we got it. 53% in the bag, so one mech for us. Which means that we'll be able to easily take out that last mech as well. Uh, so we've taken one. There we go, hacked. And then we can use... I think I'm going to use Heidi first. Heidi to weaken that one mech. Like this. With seven damage to the face. And Overwatch is now removed. And now we can move Hilda a little bit closer. And use her combat protocol to take him out. So there we go, guaranteed kill on that mech. Just a little zap. I don't know why the camera was a, a bit blurry there, but... Going in and zapping the mech. Boop. There we go. Final enemy taken out. We're probably gonna have to deal with some more reinforcements, but... I'll leave my mechs in a, a good position to start firing on uh, whatever comes in in a second. So nothing happened in the next turn, which means that we might actually be home free. Uh, I'm actually going to use Erica this time to grab the VIP. So Erica can come in. There we go. Subdue. Boop. Getting hit in the face with a sniper rifle. That's going to hurt. Can't we use Erica now? No. Okay, so that's going to mean that I'm going to use Kali as our carrier this time. And then book it to the evacuation zone. We might get reinforcements now, since now we technically got the objective. There we go, most of our crew in the uh, evacuation zone. Let's end the turn and see what happens. The mech is still hacked. 
Aha! I feel like we can just shoot at all of that this second. Can we just have them drop now? That would be really, really funny, but... We can't really do anything other than that, because... Erika does not have the movement speed to go into the evacuation zone. You can see her over here sitting right behind that bin. That's because she can't actually do anything else. But Callie, we're going to evac and Scally has the VIP. That means that we're going to put everybody else on Overwatch. Oh, crap. Why? Why? Why did that? Oh, because Callie was the one that hacked the mech. Oh, this is interesting. Um, well then. Hello, Max. Nice to meet you. Meet our Max. They also have fun. No, you're not. Let's just fire at this thing. He's just in our way. There we go. Bye, Mac. And Hilda picks up the loot in the same turn. So, advanced expanded magazine. Um, and then I can put... Heidi and Hilda. Hilda, yeah, there we go. Both on Overwatch. And then that's basically it, right? Yeah, because our other two, uh, our two spark units just fired so they can't do anything else. And turn. And then we get to reinforcements. Seems like some troopers. Ah, oh, no, mech and two advanced troopers. That's gonna be a okay. We still have one combat protocol in the bag if you want to. Yeah, these guys are gonna, gonna get shot. There we go, that's one. I don't... There we go. That's one trooper down at least. So the mech goes into Overwatch, which is probably not the best idea. Um, so let's do the same thing. Let's use the two mechs. To just fire at uh, at the Mac. There we go, the game woke up. Um, I could go into Overdrive. How are my shots now? 82. I can't go into Overdrive with Sparky anyway. So let's just fire at the Mac, 88%. There we go, some nice shredding. I'll need to reload soon. Um, then let's go into Overdrive with... Oh, wait a second. Erika has a shot as well. Um, 100%. There we go. I'm just going to evac in the next... Ooh, he's not dead. He's not dead. Okay, then I definitely need to go into overdrive. So, overdrive. Whoopie, whoopie, whoopie. Then fire at the 82% mech. There he goes. Do I get a badge or something? Oh, you might get a badge. Who knows? Let's reload as well. And that's basically... Ooh, I can fire again if I want to. Um, but... Let's put... Heidi over here. That's affirmative. And then... I mean, Hilda should probably get the killing blow, but I, I feel like if I fire at this advanced trooper with Heidi, he's gonna die. Yeah, there we go. So I I had to choose between either... I mean... Ah, I can even use Implacable to go back into the defect zone. So I had to choose to either wound him with Heidi, which wasn't gonna happen, to let Hilda get the kill, or try and get a one-hit kill with Hilda, which was probably also not gonna happen. Uh, so I think that's basically it, right? Ah, I can still put EV on Overwatch. And then we still have four turns, so this is, this is fine. So moving Erica into the evacuation zone, and then we can evac everybody again. So happy mission with a lot of damaged max, um, <laughs> highly damaged, uh, spark. Ooh, wow. That's, that's an evacuation animation. That was pretty, pretty impressive. Whee! <laughs> I love that animation. Everybody else needs a rope and the mechs just go floop. I feel like they're gonna hit the bottom of the Sky Ranger if they do that. <laughs> Evac confirmed. There we go. Because I mean, you need to hover right next to it and don't, then get in. Mission accomplished. There we go. Mission accomplished though. The, the, ah, there we go. <laughs> ah, we killed the hunter for the 500th time. And Operation Shadow Fist is complete with two uh, wounded yeah, spark units, so that's a bit sad, but. Nothing else we could do about that. 
So there we go, back home safely on the Avenger. And I feel like, yeah, even though we went with a B squad, everything went pretty okay. Sparky is out for 20 days. But we can promote Eevee to the next rank, uh, and we're gonna go for Bulwark again. That extra armor is gonna save our lives multiple times, so... Uh, although Adaptive Aim is also really cool. Really, really cool. When Overdrive is active, standard shots do not incur recoil penalties. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go for Bulwark. Nobody else got a promotion, sadly, so neither uh, Erika or Hilda got another promotion, so we're gonna have to deal with that the way we do. And then we got an advanced expanded magazine and a superior laser sight, which is uh, doubly good. Hello, Commander. And we get the intel and supply bonuses. Now, the first thing I want to do before we do anything else, if I go to engineering. So I was kind of hoping that we could repair, well, quick, more quickly repair the spark units. But apparently it just shows us that one of them is being repaired at the moment. So EV is being repaired at the moment i don't know if i if i check the engineers can i set the engineer to re repairing something doesn't seem like it um so yeah that's that's sad so before we do anything else we're gonna go uh, ability shopping again because uh we have a lot more ability points now so let's check out our main gal here heidi Heidi does not have extra soldier ability points, apparently, so that is interesting. Because she could use Shredder. So the first soldier that we have that actually has uh, a bunch of ability points is Christina. Christina can do that from above, but we don't really use the sniper all that much. Aim? Nah, not really. Rupture. A rupture shot deals critical damage and ensures that the target takes an additional 3 damage. From all attacks in the future. That is really, really cool. Um, serial, a powerful chain shot ability for every kill made with your sniper rifle. Your actions will be refunded. Or chain shot, take a shot with an aim penalty of 15. If you hit the target, you take another shot on the target automatically. So both really cool abilities for a sniper. But I think rupture is going to be the more interesting one. I think that's one for the end of the... Uh, the Grenadier tree, if I'm not mistaken. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna take the risk. So, Rupture on Christina. I could give Kelly Untouchable for only 10 ability points. I'm gonna do that. That's just... Yeah, that's just great. And on Emily, we could get that from above. Killing an enemy at a low elevation with your shotgun costs only a single action and does not end your turn. Um... The uses for that are gonna be minimal. Because, of course, she needs to be in a good position already. So, yeah, it sounds better than it is, I think. So I think I'm just going to give her Reaper mode as well, so that she can also just wreak havoc on uh, everything nearby with a sword. So, yeah, Reaper. Ooh, I can give Jacqueline running gun. That is... That is amazing, on a Grenadier. So yeah, definitely going to take that. Running gun on, uh, on Jacqueline, that's going to be amazing. Hilda should probably get medical protocol anyway, so let's give her that. And then we have four points left. I could give her blast padding, that's actually really nice. Uh, but I think I'm gonna save it for the her last tier, where she can get both restoration and the um, discharge, capacitor discharge ability for the gremlin. Uh, so that's gonna be fine. Marina can also get untouchable, which is 14 points in here, but uh, yeah, definitely gonna grab that. And that's basically it. I'm not going to check out the lower ones because those uh, Valkyries will not have enough ability points just yet. So in 18 days we have the Psylab, in 4 days the Andromedon Autopsy, and in 6 days another piece of experimental armor. So let's start scanning. Assorted loot. You might be able to check that out. I'm just going to take a look around first. We were building a radio relay, that was right. So let's just move over there first. And then I'm gonna... Yeah, I think our next step should be taking out the Hunter. Because the Hunter has been annoying us for far too long now. He's the last Chosen we're, uh, we're facing. And he's getting stronger and stronger. There we go. We got 120 supplies from a covert action. No promotions just yet. But I feel like if we put those two Valkyries on one more mission, they're gonna, they're gonna get a promotion. 
And up next, we're going to go for 13 ability points. We just saw how powerful those ability points are. So uh, definitely grabbing those. Gertrude, as a specialist, is also going to get plus four to her hacking stat. And that is always nice. And there we go. A Dromedon autopsy complete. So let's assign your research and check what we can get. The proximity mine. So the proximity mine, using high-tech multi-spectrum sensors, the proximity mine will self-trigger when an enemy penetrates its radius, dealing massive damage to the environment and enemy targets alike. Uh, you can actually attach those to uh, enemies themselves, which is ridiculous. But uh, let's check out the gatekeeper next. This specimen, henceforth referred to as the gatekeeper, seems to harbor considerable psionic power. As with the alien's other unique biomechanical field unit, it will take some time to decipher the systems involved in its function. And that's apparently all we'll hear about that. So let's go back to the bridge. So radio relay almost done. Two more days, one more day, and there we go. 93 supplies extra from that, which means that if we just make contact over here, let's make contact with New India. That is still instant, so let's do that immediately. And we also give ourselves access to another facility. And we get the bomb squad bonus. So experimental grenade and heavy weapon projects are completed instantly in the proving grounds. Not that big of a... There we go, because there was one in there. Uh, blaster launcher. Ooh, wait, did we? Oh, there might have been one after the armor uh, that we were... We are currently investigating. Yeah, because the armor is almost done. Uh, and we can also make contact with New Indonesia instantaneously. And we get 57 supplies from that as well. Then the last one over here, is this 80 intel? Yeah. Um, but since this is Oceania, is this also... Wait. How is this combined? So I'm guessing New Indonesia is part of Oceania. So I'm guessing... Oh, there we go. <laughs> the experimental arm is complete. Another hazmat fest. So yeah, I'm just going to stop doing that because I keep getting hazmat fest. I could build another relay. I have plenty of supplies. I could build another relay over there and then just go to new australia i'm actually wondering how many areas i still need to make contact with because we only need to make another relay over here somewhere and then otherwise we have europe we have africa i think i don't know where it is there it is um we ha now have asia as well so yeah what about south america am i done there as well yeah we're done there as well so yeah, we're almost there. So two more radio relays and one more contact. So let's build a radio relay over here. 400 supplies. That's going to hurt, but install radio relay. Because uh, in this playthrough, I wanted to make contact with basically every single region. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So six days to do that, which is going to be right before the supply drop. Which is what I was hoping for. And we got another bit of progress on the Avatar project. So one or two, Commander, the aliens continue one, to one, on the that's not project. bad, Bradford. To slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Don't worry about that, buddy. There we go, 13 ability points as well. And we can actually assign a new covert action. We'll do, uh, we'll probably reduce the Avatar project progress then. Jessica and Elizabeth going on this mission. So there we go, reducing the Avatar project progress. So yeah, the resistance ring kind of breaks the Avatar project because you're never really uh, in trouble. Because you can just keep reducing it like that. Which is a bit weird, but there we go, new guerrilla operation. Okay, so after this one, we're going to finish building that radio relay and then we're going off to the hunter. So you kind of already have a sneak preview on the, uh, the next few episodes. But guerrilla operation... Um, I'm actually gonna go out first. Give me a second. So I'm gonna just make the Hunter's Axe just to have it. Interesting choice. Don't know Interesting if it's gonna do anything, uh, but that's not what I really wanted to do over here. Because I wanted to go to the Guerrilla Tactics School and just buy the remaining things we don't have yet. So Sword Attacks have a 10% chance to critically hit enemies. Definitely. And Sharpshooter Deadshot bonus 10% chance to critically hit enemies for Sharpshooters. There we go. So we had the supplies for that and I never really bought that. So that was a bit my problem. But going back to the gorilla op, we have three options again. So West Africa, hack the workstation, very difficult, 11 enemies. Ooh, and the roll robots. Automated defenses. Intel suggests a high concentration of robotic enemies at this mission site. 
We get an extra engineer and we do not need an extra engineer. And we counter a hidden dark event, so we don't really know what that is going to be. Um, West Asia, however, faces a chrysalid, gatekeeper, lancer, faces an advent general and an elite purifier. We get 93 intel from that and a high concentration of beast-like enemies at this mission. That's not that much of a problem because facelift and chrysalids are going to die by sword strikes. And we counter, we get intel, but we counter counterattack. Advent units have a chance to enter Overwatch after being revealed. That's not too bad. What's the last one? Barrier, enemy tech and psionic defenses are doubled. Ooh, that's something I want to avoid though. We get, ooh, we get a female specialist. At Colonel. Yeah, I think I found my mission. So Eastern Europe, we face a Spectre, Archon, Heavy Mac, Elite Shield, Barrier, Lancer, Sector Pot, Purifier and officers, so mostly Advent Troopers aside from the Sectopod and the Mac. And maybe the Spectres and the Archon, but that seems like something we can definitely deal with. So let's go to Eastern Europe. I'm gonna equip Erika with the Raid Suit. Provides a range of movement that technically violates the laws of physics. There's also a grappling hook for good measure. Mainly because of the grappling hook, so she can get to higher elevations really, really quickly. And this is going to be the squad for next time, so Jacqueline, Erica, Hilda, Kelly, Heidi and Marina on this mission. So again, four people who can still get promotions and to, uh, yeah, experienced Valkyries on uh, Operation Hammer Dude next time. But uh, before that, I'm going to take a little break, so thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of XCOM 2 The Valkyrie Playthrough. When we get back, we're going on Operation Hammer Dude. So uh, thanks again, enormously for watching, see you guys next time, goodbye!